is my 40 year old uh, sled that I use for all of the wood and uh, I've had a few new runners on it over here. This is another new runner I made uh, last year. I just covered it with Teflon on the bottom. And the ones over on the other side there, well I need a new one longer. Uh, it's only an A frame, as you can see. There's two springs, one here. This slides into this sleeve and into that sleeve. And there's another spring back on the back right there. There's only a frame and a couple of things made up there for, for skis, for six inches wide. And a uh, place to put the gas, chainsaw. And uh, as you can see, it's a uh, stood the test of time. So, anyway, that's the way she sits right there. I haven't broken that itch since I built it. I did have to break, a, break it right here at one point. I don't know when, what year that was. Probably back in the 30s, I dare say. <laughs> anyway, she's a good solid slate, and those runners are made out of black spruce, fox spruce, and uh, I made a couple of tripods there with sleeves. There's Teflon bushings in that for sleeves, and just a bolt put in there with a, with a I think it's a nail or something here. And uh, there's wear bars on the bottom, so I get on the skis of a skidoo runner. So uh, this old runner, I got a new one made to go on there now a little bit longer. So, anyway, she, she can take that box right to pull. So, and this hitch, I just uh, made up a bolt to go through there with a piece of rabbit snare or uh, Fox Snare War 116 and I uh, got this pin and that's on there all the time so anyway I just shoved that pin through there to hold it in place and it all works hope you like that one so oh these little outfits right here same as on the airplane I got those little machines there just to keep the runners from uh, digging in or whatever in the time, and that works too. So that's uh, one eight cable. Oops.